so I was sitting here thinking about some of the uh, past technologies that have actually been put out on the market, such as many of uh, Nikola Tesla's beautiful technology. He had over 300 patents, and uh, he was sitting at the table with J.P. Morgan, Einstein, a lot of these people, you know, Edison, during a lot of these uh, times, Project Paper Paperclip was enacted. And uh, that was a military operation alongside Project Stargate and Project Star Wars. A lot of these, if you want to go into them yourself and research them, they have to do with a lot of uh, biomechanical, they have to do with a lot of biomechanical human body interactions. Uh, some people actually have things embedded in their body that, you know, you were given at birth. Uh, Christ could heal lepers, he healed the blind, he healed the sick, the lame, uh, he could pull energy and pull negative entities out of people's body and cast them into pigs and he ran all those pigs off the cliff. It sounds funny, but this is a lot of Star Wars stuff. That's why, uh, you know, force healing, force meditation, force sight, you're talking about remote viewing, astral projection, that's also a validation that you actually have a human soul. Um, everybody actually produces plasma naturally, so that's why a lot of Nikolai Tesla's patents were hidden. And, uh... Einstein actually had to change a lot of his equations because he didn't want the evil empire getting it. A lot of the people around these men, including Maria Orsek, she was a uh, empath. She got pulled on the wrong side of the war during World War II and was uh, cast aside by Adolf Hitler. He actually did some very, very bad things to the Vril Society. He, Adolf Hitler was part of the uh, Thule Society. Where am I going with this? Um, If you look into our history, you find that some people actually restrict themselves from poisons in the air, poisons in our food, poisons in our water. Um, they can make GMO food that'll give you cancer, but they can't make GMO grass that'll stop growing at one inch. They can uh, put you on a military base and kick your ass with PT but they're putting as said by the DOD they're actually putting a uh, cancer causing agents in the water so that's why a lot of our military actually passes away uh, VA is full of shit they've got this big ass filing cabinet full of people that they did not take care of most people that have died in quote unquote accidents A lot of their family members, they didn't get paid the insurance money. Most people join the military and do not get the two hundred fifty to five hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy. So who gets that money? Well, U.S. military collects it if they actually put your family member under an accidental death. Now, thinking about that, well, if someone dies in the military, what happens to their social security checks? Well, government actually takes that as well. That's why a lot of military are being I want to say quarantine, but they're actually going through a stringent, nice little process where they're going through and checking all the Catholic personnel and Masonic personnel that had any access to personnel records. Now, that goes back to the Uniform Commercial Code when it comes to uh, people dying in a mysterious circumstance or the case gets dropped and put into a cold case file. Now, a lot of the pro bono detective work and law work I've done has got me on a certain level of understanding and awareness. Not to mention just reading the Quran, the Talmud, the Bible, the Necronomicon, the King James Bible, the Book of Thomas. I've touched base with you numerous times on the Book of Thomas. Now why is this so important? Well, these things all predate the King James Version of the Bible. During that reorganization in the 1400s, that's where you get the King James Bible. So, not saying you should throw your King James Bible in the trash, but that's actually evidence that you can use in a court of law. That's all documentation. 
That's a lot of the uh, Quran, Talmud, King James Version of the Bible, all these things, Book of Thomas especially. These are all legitimate documents. When you have the chance and start noticing all the contradictions in the Bible, you know, you start realizing things in day-to-day -day life. You cannot go into the desert with a canteen full of wine and expect to make it to the other side of the desert. You need water. That's why I don't drink alcohol. Now, with all these demonic things in the background, you know, vampirism, drinking of blood, cannibalism, eating of the body, Catholic Church is going through a restructuring right now. I had to personally reach out to Biden, didn't hear anything back. I had to reach out to the Pope, didn't hear anything back. Reached out to a, more than a few presidents, didn't hear anything back. When it comes down to it, everybody knows our electoral college is primarily Catholic. Everyone in the White House, they won't let you join political stances unless you're Catholic. And I also spoke about religious persecution before. Some people get indoctrinated in the military and they don't make rank because they don't bend over or yield. And that actually gives over acquiescence to powers that you just don't want to bend over or yield to. Most of these people actually literally sell themselves out without knowing it. And if you read uh, Manufacturing Acquiescence, you'll see what I'm talking about. But that's why people in the court of law want you to lawyer up. They want you to pass your acquiescence for someone else to speak for you. And they're going to do a half-assed job for five grand. Now, there are some good attorneys out there. I will give you that to do the righteous thing and actually fight for you tooth and nail. But there are others that just need a paycheck and they're still caught in this system. And they're figuring out that I wasn't full of shit after all. So... I put numerous playlists out there. A lot of these things are being influenced in music, news. Catholic churches are being burned down. Masonic lodges are being burned down. No one wants to fuck with vampires anymore. No one wants to be on a system where they're pretty much being enslaved and by the time the money stops going to the uh, mortgage company, you don't own shit and you look on your paperwork and you're just a tenant. That's not the American dream, and it shouldn't have been just a dream. Most people who lose these military pensions, high-ranking officers, now there are a bunch of great officers out there, but some of them will sell you out in a heartbeat. I've had to take 36 years of my time studying all these things. I went all the way back to 1978, studied Netanyahu's political ideas, studied Middle Eastern middle <laughs> ideas, ideologies. <sighs> Ideals are peaceful. History is very violent. If you go back to the Ottoman Empire, they were fighting beings you and I both know as vampires. I have great respect for the Middle East because they try to keep everything pure with what they had. They didn't have the power of the Catholic Church to back them. Everybody goes to church and on Sundays everybody gives up money. Most Catholics don't even file taxes. You go to a lot of these Catholic churches that are burning down, you're going to find the bodies of children underneath the cathedrals, underneath the ground. Even when Christ was born, they were sacrificing children to subterranean beings. Now, you line up all these things in history, and you're going to come up... It's to not even a conspiracy. These are things that actually have happened. The word conspiracy is very damaging to people's reputations, to people's jobs, to people's lineage, history. It's never been a conspiracy. A lot of these things have already happened. David Icke got pushed to the left for years. No one wanted to hear him out. Turns out he was telling the truth the entire time. Most of these Catholic priests are dealing with things 
that they are aware of, but they've got a lot of double agents among them that are actually rooting for the bad guys. If you look at uh, satanic and Luciferian and satanic ritual abuse, a lot of these cold cases having to do with missing children, a lot of bad guys were handling the cases. That's why a lot of parents never got the answers that they wanted. I'm giving answers. A lot of people don't like it. Times are changing with or without you. If you're supplying counterintelligence to vermin, you're going to fucking burn. If you're about pedophilia, you're going to fucking burn. If you're about vampirism and cannibalism, you're going to fucking burn. Pope Benedict and his predecessors said pedophilia, they have a zero tolerance for it, and yes, yet it's going on. No one wants to play hide the pedophile, where's the pedophile, find the pedophile anymore. That shit is over with. Truth hurts. Many military men have actually gotten their careers thrown in the trash for doing the right thing. Some people don't notice when a man actually flies off the handle on some uh, brute or villain when it has to do with the welfare of a woman. Can't really explain most of these things because, well, if I bring all this documentation into a courtroom, your entire fucking system falls down. I'm all for it now. The system was flawed to begin with. I offered you straightforward, easy, applicable solutions. I can't even take credit for most of it. Trump even did most of that. That's why the Above Majestic documentary is so important. It's a pain in the ass when you got a fuckboy in front of you fucking everything's up and you get into office and then you got a fuckboy behind you fucking everything up that you just fixed. No wonder most of these politicians actually get pissed off. If you get diving into the Webster's Dictionary and you look at the word politician, that's blood-sucking parasite. Most of them are due to his own anyway. They're rooting for the wrong fucking team. Even if when you smack the, the goblet out of their hand that's full of poison, they take it as you're being arrogant. You don't know what you're doing. That's stopping it really is. It's stopping. From the United States all the way to the Middle East, Netanyahu's been informed. He's crying on his fucking desk right now. We, United States gave $3 billion last year to Israel so they could handle things. They fucked off the money. Then a senator went all the way out to Israel again. Yeah, we're going to give you guys $3 million. Fuck no, we're not. Not so you can slay Palestinians. That's why Hillary Clinton got in so much fucking trouble. When all the private contractors were in deep shit on their base, she turned the cheek, she turned her cheek and left a distress, a distress call on the table. Let all these men fucking defend the borders of a base just so she can get a, comp, uh, a, a pretty much a political competition out of the way. They attacked that base trying to protect their land and a U.S. ambassador went over there, a peacekeeper. So this was a peacekeeping mission. She kept her mouth shut in order to take a bunch of rivals out. All this stuff is between the lines. You just have to read them. I could have been on the phone, solved all that shit. Most of these people, they're about filling their pockets. They get so much political campaign money... They have no problem passing a hundred grand to some sleazy dirtbag who's going to do underhanded shit. Hope this makes sense. It's going around to 43 countries. And it's not going to stop. 